What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Arista Fury. Today, uh, I am I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment. This guest doesn't live in state, so we've had to coordinate it for a while. Uh, he is one of my favorite comedians of all time, and his podcast, Middle of Somewhere, quickly became my favorite comedy podcast. Give it up for Chad Daniels. Hello. Thank you so Yay. much. Thank you. Oh, we got some applause from the crew. That never happens. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know well, who we need you. is Hay Bales. I know. Hay Bales! <laughs> we need some of his laughter. Oh, I love Hay Bales. <laughs> um, and this is actually our first time meeting. It is. Which is weird to me. I feel like we've kind of known each other. Sure. I feel like I know a lot about you from your podcast. But, makes sense. Um, I'm honored to finally be in the presence of Cookies and Cream Tits. Cookies and Cream. Yes, that's right. It feels so good. There's so many inside <laughs> jokes going on. Everyone watching is like, what the hell's happening? What's, I feel like you're, a lot of your fans know cookies bands? and cream tits, though. That's true. Between mine and yours, I wish that we could have gotten like a Hooters sponsorship or something. <laughs> Just this one episode. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. <laughs> that would have been real nice. Um, okay, so what is your foosball experience? Uh, when I was younger, my mom and dad were in a bowling league. Okay. And so when there wasn't school, and it was on Sunday night. When okay. there wasn't school on Mondays, I was allowed to go with them because it was ended up at like 11 or something. Okay. And uh, this guy named Donnie Bragger, who's like one of the funniest guys I've ever met, doesn't okay. do stand-up, just very funny. He taught me how to stuff your mittens in the goals so you only had to pay for one game the entire night. Beautiful. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's about all I remember. <laughs> that's no skills, just the con part of it. Well, I do know that you can't, um, they call it putting it in the blender, is that right? You can't do this. Oh, I've never heard that term before, but I like it. Wow. Looks like somebody doesn't know everything do you, there is to know. Do you want to just take one of my trophies now? I think that's what you get for Does one of them say, I know what put it in the blender means? <laughs> oh, oh, I knew you were going to come on and talk shit. I fucking knew it. Well, not um, about this. That's why I'm trying to get my jabs in anywhere other situation. Oh, and I know you're super competitive. I am very competitive, and uh, I told you this before. Yeah. I'm not gonna come in here and lay down, but I also know I'm about to get my ass kicked. Okay. But it's like one of those things, it's like uh, I tell my kids, you can't like lay down for stuff because not only does it make you look like an asshole, it kind of takes away from the win. It sours the win and that's not oh. fair to the other person, so. Oh, so like you're gonna lose hard for me. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to beat you knowing I can't. <laughs> yes, correct. Like my son is almost 21 and he's still never beat me in horse because I refuse to uh, allow that shit to happen at my house. But when he does, it's gonna feel great, right? That's, like if someone came on here yeah. and beat you, yeah. they could quit whatever they're doing. That's true. Mm -hmm. They become the new host. Right. I jump off a bridge. Well, I don't know if we needed to go there, but you are from I Washington would. State, so that makes <laughs> sense. That's fine, that's fair. <laughs> so here's the thing, I talked with your co-host of the podcast, sure. Cy Amundsen, uh -huh. another great comic. Um, He's okay. He. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that um, you would be severely downplaying how good you are at this. Okay. Because, and you said this on the podcast recently, that you are good at bar sports because your dad was an alcoholic. True. And he would take you to the bars a lot. True. As I a consider kid. bar sports to be pool and darts. Sure. But that's fine. You don't consider foosball? Well, I don't think they ever had it where I was except the bowling alley. Okay. So what's like your foosball? What's the thing that you. Probably feel? ping pong. Okay. Although Judah Freelander kicked my ass so bad at uh, Moon Tower in Austin, yeah, it was embarrassing. He's incredible. It was just like, I'm playing with a real champion. I was so excited. <laughs> Delighted you're even there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, this hurts, but it's still kind of cool. Uh, I wish we had a ping pong table here, because I, how great would it be if I beat you at that, too? No fucking chance. Zero chance. So we're going to play okay. one game to five. I'm ready. This first round. Just kind of see how it goes. Okay. And then we'll go from there. All right. Okay. So would you like to have the ball first? No putting it in the blender. No putting it in the blender. That means spinning. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, do I want the ball first? I don't yeah. know. Does it matter? You can't spin it in there, can you? No. So how it starts now, even though they, they manufacture them with the hole sometimes, you put it on your five bar, you ask your opponent. Your five bar? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, You're you wanna, so good at this. You want to come you at me when you're putting in the stuff. blender shit? I just yeah. know that's a goalie. Good. And this good is, uh, what do you call this, a two bar? You can, And yeah. a three bar? Mm -hmm. What do you call them? Well, 
People refer to this as a five bar. I mean, people say well, first of all, work. people don't. Fucking nerds <laughs> refer to this as a five bar. Normal people are like, it's the one with the you know most people. My mom and her world table soccer it's, almanac. Are you shitting me? To it as the five Come bar. on. All right. People refer to it. My mom wrote a book, and I'm helping. <laughs> Continuing right. the legacy. Okay. So you say ready. Your opponent says ready, and then you're supposed to touch the ball to two men. Wait a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move the ball. It's just so that people don't set it there and then do that. Sure. Sweet block. I don't know if you got that on camera. <laughs> Sick ass block. No hands. What's up? <laughs> Fucking Jedi block. And so that way it just prevents that. It's a little bit this more. This feels very Karate Kid to me. <laughs> like we have to bow to each other. Ready. Ready. <sighs> so. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like so tense in here. All right. Are you ready? I. Is that a trick? I'm ready. Okay. And you have to touch it to two people, then we go. Touch two men, and then wait a second. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, come here. I gave it right back. Oh, shit. Look at me giving it back. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be spiraling very quickly. I told you. Oh, no, I missed. I told you in text that I wanted to get you to um, charades level anger. Ooh, that's a, that's a good way to start with a stuff. <laughs> you call it a stuff? Yeah, sure you did. That makes sense. Oh, that feels good. That feels sure really it does. Good. Ready! <laughs> Ready. What if I miss my second guy? Okay, now I can go? Mm -hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> um, yeah, I told I, I wanted you to get to a charades level anger because... Oh my um, god, that was so loud. Ready? Ready. Okay. Well, I can't even get it past your five bar. Could you? Oh god. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh no! Ah, it's three nothing. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready, shit. <laughs> waiting for anybody. Oh, no! Oh, oh, stuff from the five bar. Man. Stuff. Is that in the book? Stuff from the five bar? I don't know. I could just... Oh, I didn't say ready. That's it. I mean, okay. I was. Shit. Oh, nice shot, asshole. <laughs> Wide open net and you fucking missed. What a punk. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, I hope I can score from the back on you right now. God damn it. Oh no, I missed the whole thing. Hold on, can I put, okay, it stopped. Can I tell you something? The fucking ball whizzes when you hit it. It goes zzzz. Cool. <laughs> like an old yo-yo. Okay. Thank you. You, just, <laughs> you just put it there like, here you go. That's, I'm I, your mom. <laughs> right. I, I know that seems weird, but that is actually what oh, you shit. do in a professional match because there are dead zones. Maybe this is why this has not been an Olympic sport yet. Oh, I don't like that you're not moving your men at all. Okay, so that was the first game. <laughs> yep, that is open, okay. How'd that feel? Well, it's fucking 5-0, what do you think? It sucks. I just wanna know because you said that, you know, you were knowing that you wouldn't win, but I just am wondering if like, there's some anger building at all. I was trying. I mean, I did think that maybe this was a fake guy with like, this thing was paper. That's why I checked to see if there was a hole there because I uh, felt like you shouldn't have been able to score there, but you still did. And I hate foosball. Okay. <laughs> so glad we did this. All right, come on over. We're gonna do a, a second round. We're gonna make it easier for you to beat me. Okay. So spin this a little bit. And then now you grab one, and I grab one. Okay. What'd you get? I got a four. Okay. So you, oh, I hate this one. You can score on either goal. Did you see the Steve Renazisi episode? I can score on my own goal? Yeah. Well, that's ridiculous. And it counts as a point for you. So I have to be able to play, I have to try and play defense both ways. Because if you just pass it back, you can just put it in your goal, and that's a point. 
So if you shoot at my goal and I have it with my goalie, I can just turn around and hit it in my goal? This is stupid. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> You haven't even heard of what mine is. I have to play, not only do you get to do that, but I have to play with my arms crossed and standing on one leg. Oh my, if I, I'm gonna tell you something right now. If I lose, oh shit. Do you wanna start with it or do you want me to start with it? You can start with it, question. Sure. If you hit my goalie and it goes in, does that count for me? No, it counts for me. It it's like, whoever is like, like the... Like cheating. Whatever you're about to say, it seems like cheating. Oh. <laughs> If like if I'm actively shooting it and you kind of block it and it goes in, I mean that's still like it was my shot. I know. Let's would go. you feel good about yourself taking that point if it After getting beat five to nothing? Yeah. <laughs> I would. You ready? Okay. Oh you have to do that. That's right. Oh shit. Okay, ready? Yep. Uh, tits. You just call me tits? That's Oh, hold on. Fuck. You know what technically happens? What? Oh. Fuck. It goes to me? Yeah. Back here? Yeah. I'm, I just, I'm trying right to there? be. Up here? Right here? You can, yeah. I mean, technically that's how that happens, so it's, yeah, you, you can put it in your own goal. Ready? Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, you know you can score with your own goal. I do, yep, but I'm not going to do it on that one. That was Really? Sh that was pretty shitty. Wow, okay. Your fucking arms are crossed, you're on one leg. You look like an idiot right now. If I lose, I'm gonna go nuts. I block it with my own guy. Oh, I can, now I can score. Yeah, god damn it. I hate this punishment. <laughs> oh, you hear that? Shh, shh, shh. All right. Wow. First time. Ugh. Okay. I'm, Cause I'm gonna get pissed if if you beat me in this round, even though it's so rigged, I still will get upset. Great. Okay. I can't imagine I'm going to lose this round. Sean Patton beat me in the middle round, and he started with four points, and I still was upset. Almost got him? <sighs> I did almost get him. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, shh. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I also, I went on Instagram and asked people to send in questions for you. Sure. So someone wants to know what... Oh, no! <sighs> oh, my God. This cannot be happening. I should have scored that fucking goal on myself. All right. Okay, so now you have it. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I have to try and defend both, because you can go either direction right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, shh. Oh, I gave it right back. I'm so nervous when I get the ball. <laughs> um, okay, so somebody wants to know the story of your, um, what is it, your Chester the Cheetah tattoo? Uh-huh, sure. Um, so this goes back to you, technically. So I went part. in, my buddy Fritz, his dad, like estranged father, okay. had a um, tattoo parlor. So I said I'd go down there with him and I, cause he wanted to like hang out with his dad and stuff. Okay. And so we're in there and his dad's just like, you guys want tattoos? And we were like, yeah, we're 18, of course we do. And then um, he ended up like, what do you want? And I go, well, I'm eating these Cheetos. I mean, makes sense to put this on my body forever. So I put Chester Cheetah with a Herschel Walker jersey, favorite football player, playing for the Philadelphia Eagles, favorite football team at the time. What's up? <laughs> Can we see it? Sure. Right now, or is this part of a challenge? No, I, I want to see it right now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's faded, but you can see oh it. Oh my god. That's amazing. Pretty good. I remember hearing the story of the podcast, but I'd forgotten the details of it, and I'm glad somebody asked. It's pretty gross. This is my cat arm. I have an arm was... dedicated to cats. <laughs> What's up with that? What's the tiger? This one? Well, this one's real lame. You want to hear it? Yeah. All right, so after my divorce is when people make their best decisions. Naturally. Right? Darkest time. <laughs> I went and got a, I've always wanted to, I love tigers. But okay. then I got, instead of some of the stripes, I got words that have been used to describe me at some point in time, uh, good and bad. And oh. then it's like a uh, tiger can't change its stripes kind of a deal. And then my whole plan was to cross some of them off with stripes, proving you can change your stripes. But guess what? I just haven't done it. <laughs> so now I'm like, it's four years later. And I'm like, yep, still enigmatic. You know me. Oh Mr. my God. Mr. Secret. Oh my God. I know. 
that tattoo is like the biggest fuck you to therapy ever. Like, <laughs> I you're gonna try and change me for the decisions. better? Fuck yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Oh Christ. Oh, it always. Oh, we got a little fucking table roll here, huh? Interesting. I know, we have to get that fixed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely not happy with the table roll. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I also can't tell you the number of messages I got from people saying, tell Chad, I'm his Uncle Ronnie. Oh, I'm Uncle Ronnie. Can you, for people who don't know the podcast, can you explain what that's all about? Yeah. Um, oh, no, remember right. that? Yeah, he looked real disappointed. <laughs> Boom, brought it back. Shh, shh, shh. Now, I don't Uncle, like you shushing me my, before you do that. My, uh, <clears throat> my sister is a nurse, okay. and my dad um, Ready? Has, been, yeah, has been gone for a while. He took off. And so sometimes we don't... Um, uh oh no, no, no. This is not good. Oh, with my left hand, this is... What in the fuck? Um, so we don't know a lot of family members on his side. And okay. this guy came in with her, my name, Daniels. Um, and she goes, oh, that's my maiden name. Where'd you grow up? And he named the town where my parents were born. Yeah. And so she was like, do you know this person who was our grandpa that we never met? Yeah. And uh, he was like, yeah, he's my brother. So we have this uncle Ronnie she just met at the end of his life. And she's like, do you want to meet him? And I go, no. I'm going to meet a guy and then go to his funeral? Thanks anyways. Real I got, bummer. I got other shit going on. I got to go lose a foosball <laughs> to someone standing on one leg with her fucking arms crossed. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, oh. It just always goes right back to you. Oh, come on, come on. Focus. <sighs> <laughs> Hold on. Did you just say focus? <laughs> this did. is like credit. Is this my ball? Yeah. You, you're damn right I'm taking it now. All right, are you ready? Are you going to shoot it on yourself? Absolutely. Time? You're killing me. You're, you're winning. <sighs> OK. You ready? Mm -hmm. OK. Oh, this is way easier. I like this much better. Let's do this for the third round. Sure, sure. You did like it better. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you didn't take it! Now, is that you being nice, or is that just that you want to win in a... That's not me being nice. It just feels a little lame. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you hop on over here and... Yeah, it's big enough, Damn it's it. big enough. No, I got it. That was probably a real bad decision on my part. You ready? Yeah. From the five bar. Is that in your fucking mom's book? From the fi Tales from the five bar. Well, it's one one. Now what do we do? <laughs> yeah, that felt great. <laughs> your not, body lit up. Not you beating were... you. Beating you did not feel great. Scoring from here felt great. It was a nice shot. It's nice of you to say. We're going to play two ball. Okay. Where we each start with the ball. Uh, we hit it on one, two, three, go. On go, we hit it. You have to score both balls to get one point. If okay. we each score one, it's a wash. Here's the thing. If you lose. Yep. I spoke with Sai, and we were just trying to brainstorm what a great punishment would be for you. I hate how many times he's been brought up in this. It's just, it felt right. Because it sure. felt like if Sai was on, I would be texting you and be like, how yeah. can we ruin his Well, that would be easy. Make him stand for three minutes without someone giving him a massage or some horse shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, OK, so. <clears throat> If you lose, mm -hmm. um, you have to drink, you don't have to drink the whole thing, but you have to drink some of a milkshake, a vegan cookies and cream milkshake Ugh. with a shot of vegan ranch in it and a shot of whiskey in it. Because apparently at Acme Comedy Club, there's yeah, a thing. Ran ranch Daniels. Ranch Daniels. Mm -hmm. So I, you want to- I know it well. So what is the thing behind this? 
Oh, there was just a guy that um, he was at the time. He's lost weight now, but he okay. was a big dude okay. just using his body as a rental vacation house. <laughs> and uh, he was like, That's such a he was like, will you give me five dollars? If I like lick some ranch and then do a shot of Jack Daniels, like a weird new tequila shot. Okay. And I was like, I'll get $5 from everybody in here if you blend up ranch dressing and Jack Daniels and then chug it out of a low ball. And he was oh. like, yeah, of course. And so then <laughs> he did it pretty early in the night and then we just all stared at him and we were just waiting for like Vesuvius. Just like, all right. Oh, look at his eyes, they're watering. This is gonna be amazing. Never puked, never. Really? Yeah. What a fucking tank. Yep, pretty well, impressive. Okay, so, so you're gonna have to do that. Cookies and cream in honor of your tits. In honor of my tits, yeah. But I want you to know that what we were gonna have you do is so much worse mm -hmm. because for, there's something in me that just, I wanna see how far I can push you because you get so <laughs> mad and it just makes me laugh. Oh, it's like I have a dad all of a sudden. <laughs> I just wanna push you to be your best. <laughs> So originally, we were gonna make you wear, um, well tell me what you, tell the camera what you told me beforehand, the two things you wouldn't do. Two things I won't do, I won't wish illness on my children, even if it's for fun, and I yeah. won't uh, get naked in any, in any sort of way. Okay. I shower with my shirt on when I'm all by myself. Okay, mm -hmm. so what we, what we have, do we have it right now that I could show him? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna grab it. <clears throat> My initial idea was okay. let's get a um, like a woman's white tank top with a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That is so funny. Oh shit. That is so funny because it's also like the extra st the uh, what is it called? The middle I oh, should know the extra, this. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed. Double stuff. Double stuff. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'm actually, my brain just fried because I saw this. That's fantastic. And I don't, I think I'd have some nice cleave in that. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. There are times where, uh, like, it'll be gray skies in Minnesota for two weeks. And I, for cereal, I will pour a sleeve of Oreos into a mixing bowl and then put milk on it and just like, <laughs> oh, this is how we die. That is the saddest story I've ever it's heard. It's super disgusting, <laughs> but also, what's up? Also, Explains these guys. What's up, ladies? All right. So, oh, yeah, wow. my initial That's... idea was I wanted you to put this on. I specifically was like, can we get one with a built-in bra? Some sort of support. I want a little cleave. And then we hot glue gunned Oreos as nipples. Amazing. And, oh, it gets, it gets so much worse. So, we bought a lawn chair. We were going to have you lie down in the lawn chair and eat the concoction off of your own tits. But before, before it was the whiskey ranch version, I was like, what if we found like, what if somebody was willing to give us their breast milk? And I was gonna make you drink a breast milk, cookies and cream milkshake. And I texted that to Cy and he just didn't respond. And I was like. He's probably still laughing. <laughs> that's why. I was like, maybe that's too dark. Maybe that's too much. So then we reeled it back to the cookies and cream whiskey ranch but we were still gonna have you wear this and lawn chair and eat it off your chest. And then you said that you wouldn't do nudity and I was like, I, fe I feel like this is, you there's, know. There's two different looks, right? There's the standing look if I'm wearing that. And you know when you can see somebody on a windy day and they have no idea and you're like, oh, the belly button portion of that shirt is discolored. <laughs> so we can see the crater that is that person's belly button. Yeah. That's my standing look in that, I guarantee it. And then sitting, I would just constantly be doing the fat person like, cause this, listen, I'm not in the worst shape out of anyone in the world, I understand that. But when I stand up, I've had to start doing the fat person takeaway where you pull your shirt out a little bit. I can't stand it. You have body dysmorphia. You look like you're in fantastic shape. Sh okay, we're done. Let's do, let's play, let's play two ball. I feel like you're more uncomfortable with me saying that to you than if I like let's tried play to ball. roast you. Let's play two ball. That is unbelievable. And Thank you. I would actually, just so it doesn't go to waste, I'll eat those Oreos. <laughs> Glue and all. Well, we want you to take it with you. I mean, if you want. So just as amazing. a souvenir of your trip. <laughs> oh, shit. That's I'm, so funny. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I brought you joy. It would have brought me more joy to see you in it, but sure. I'm, tr I'm trying to respect your boundaries. And that makes sense. You still do have to eat a terrible milkshake, so I, I get something out of it. Yep. Okay. So now, uh, do we need to even really play this one? Okay. 
Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh. oh my God, I have a chance! <laughs> no, son of a bitch! It went away so quickly. <laughs> I somehow didn't hit mine. That was a mistake. I was trying to hit it. <sighs> Just for a second. <laughs> That was like when you win the low hand in Pai Gao, you're like, bring it on, you fucking ass. And then all of a sudden, push. <laughs> like glimmer of hope. Right. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh, fuck. You got that one, huh? Shit. Oh, wait, sorry. I took a point. I'm so used to taking the point. Sorry. That's okay. You... Makes sense. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Uh-oh. Damn. Are you right-handed or left-handed? It depends what day it is. Oh, okay. You got a good left-hand shot from the back. But it doesn't go zzzz. Come on. I also had a lot of um, messages about your cookies and cream tits. And then somebody asked me if they felt like you had an unfair advantage because I would be distracted by your supple. Well, bosom. I should have probably worn that shirt that you got. <laughs> Show you a little cleave, let you know what's up. That would have changed. Ah. That would have changed everything. Completely different outcome. Ah, uh, good D. From the tails from the five bar. <laughs> I can't oh, wait. No. <laughs> a little little oh, R&B. No. Bring myself to Motown. Oh no. What's the song called? Tales from the five bar. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh, Ooh, we kind of had a little thingy there. Oh no! Okay, so it goes back to you. Okay. But you can't score in your own goal this time. Okay. Oh, angle. Oh, I you went. Know what? Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I went to Provincetown in Cape Cod this summer with my daughter. Okay. And she. Uh, and she, like, I had on a fanny pack. And Provincetown's a very gay town. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> Story interrupted with a sick cross court shot. Still zero zero. And I had on like uh, flip flops and cut off jean shorts and a tank top, not with that kind of stuff, yeah, yeah. but then also uh, a fanny pack. And my daughter was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm gonna go dangle some daddy bear bait. Oh. And, oh, and any sentence. anytime that's we walked sentence. by a group and anyone would look at me, my daughter would go, dangle, dangle. <laughs> I know. And it just <laughs> reminded me because you said something like, uh, I think you said angle. You go, ooh, angle. And it reminded me of Dangle Dangle. Your daughter, why is she not a comedian? Because she's 16. And you won't let her? No, I would rather my daughter do pornography than stand-up comedy. <laughs> and film it in your I, living room. I, I think there's more respect for- Use your bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. Wow, I'm gonna barf before the cookies and cream milkshake. Interesting. <laughs> Why'd you puke, the ranch? No, 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 it was, uh, my daughter was make-believe sleeping with someone in my bed. Oh, sorry. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. God damn it. Why is oh, that Oh, no. Happening? Keep fucking doing that. Um, you know what I realized? I completely forgot part of uh, that middle round where you could score on either side. I was going to also say that you had to talk in sigh voice the oh. whole time, and I forgot. And I, I just kind of want you, will you just do it like for a point? Yeah. Ooh, so that was a pretty good shot right there. I keep getting in the way of my own shot. I gotta learn how to get my guys up. <laughs> oh, no. oh. oh, that's a goalie shot! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna lose, but I am taking away some positive things. I had a cross quarter, which was sick as shit. Plus, then I just scored from the goalie. Oh, wait a minute. I scored the first one. Oh, shit. Oh no, this is great. This is, this is really fun. Thank you for having me on. I don't wanna talk about what's happening. Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Fuck, fuck. Oh no! God, no, 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 
no, no, no. Oh, Why, no. How has nobody scored yet? Oh, whiff. If we measure the last two goals of mine, it's prob they're probably over 40 feet if you combine them. I scored from the goalie and then the, call this the two bar in the league. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? This was a gigantic mistake. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh, shit! That's like when two people used to duel, and they both got shot at the same time. Like, who won? They're fucking both dead. We went outside and they were both just lying there. That's incredible. That's pretty amazing. But I don't, I don't get why you were able to keep doing that on me, because I'm setting up my defense so that it doesn't... Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was my ball. Fucking... What? <laughs> Listen, okay, I know, that's great, and you did a great job there, but you're frustrated, you're exhaling in a way that leads me to believe you've been to a class for it, and then also you just go, oh, what? And that's like a little, some little kid shit when you turn the channel from their cartoon. What? Oh, what? I'm in your head right now, and it feels great. I just wasn't expecting you to get any well, so this is kind of upsetting me. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. Oh, I fucking was, that should have been in. Mm. Oh, Chad, you're so dumb. Come, come on. Uh. Oh, no! Oh, I needed that. Okay. Oh. Stuff! Stuff. Double stuff. stuff like those Oreos, baby! You know that's right. Oh, okay. What is it, two to one? Okay. Uh, yeah. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Mm. Okay, okay. Good block. Damn. Good block again by my own guy. That gets old pretty quickly. Oh, that should have been it. You do hit it really, oh. I was gonna say you hit it really hard from the back. <laughs> <laughs> and the comment section is gonna lose their fucking mind. Anytime I tell... I'm sorry, you were in the middle of a story. <laughs> oh my god, oh, what? That's such a funny, that's the thing I'm taking from this. What? How did he get there, what? <laughs> and the Oreo tank top, god damn it. Anytime I tell the guest that they have good D, the comment section loses their fucking mind, so that's a new one, I guess. Okay, you ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. What? The Motherfucking five bar. Sorry, I'm swearing so much. Oh, this is a foosball web series. You're, you're fine to say whatever. My guys have been playing such good defense for you. Oh, Christ, okay. Oh, and you scored that first one, so even if I make this, this is a wash. This is taking way too long. Oh, nuts. <laughs> you say nuts. Jesus. Oh, that was pretty close! God. I can't. I'm having trouble even just like making conversation with you right now because. Because you're concentrating. Just, yeah. I get it. God, I really want. To, like that was pretty hard shot. It went all the way back. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. What'd you do today, Chad? Oh, I sweat in a room that was 58 degrees. Huh, interesting. I don't know how this is happening. I am lathered up in my shoulder blades right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Here, here. Um, somebody else wrote in. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Every fucking time. Um, somebody wrote oh, in. Good luck. 
and asked, um, like, of all the times that you've said something snarky to somebody in public, <laughs> yeah. has that ever backfired? Like, have you? Because that's, I think, a pretty common theme of the podcast is that you and I'm Cy spaz, yeah. say things to people sure. that I don't know how either of you just aren't in jail all the time. Like, I feel like that should just be the show. Is like I thought the scariest moment we're not of, in jail. The scariest moment of my life. Well, two of number one people. Uh, were running, I was teaching my son how to boogie board, and yeah. people were running up to the beach and pointing, and I saw a dorsal fin, and so I've never moved so fast in my life, and it yeah. ended up being a dolphin, so that's okay. the scariest moment of my entire life. But I also, some guy was trying to fight me at a gas station, and I sprayed his pants below his knees with gasoline. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, th I was like so nervous. I waited for him to come back out, because I'm like, if anyone lights a match or anything, if he goes too close to the hot dog stand, he's gonna start <laughs> on fire, and I'm gonna have to be here for that, so. Uh, sometimes it can backfire just in the way that you're worried for a little while. And I'm very lucky. I don't have anxiety or anything like that, but I was yeah. really nervous about that guy starting on fire. <laughs> the shit you do. I just like, that's, it's so fun to hear because I would be terrified to ever do anything like that. <sighs> it's freeing. It's nice. Okay, ready? One, yep. two, three, go. Well, now look, now it is quiet time. There are no more questions. It is just ass whoop city. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so Sai was right. He's like, He's gonna downplay how good he is. I'm not, I don't think I'm good. That's, that's well, true. I mean. Is this, it's taking longer than it should to beat you, so that says something. Maybe, should I just keep complimenting you? Would that fuck you up more? Yeah, probably. Okay. Not, not about that, it's uh, just have a week. Ooh, that might have come out actually. I gotta stop giving it. Oh, you suck. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll fucking take you it. You have to. Those are the rules. All right. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, go. How do you see everything? <laughs> oh, shit! That was great. Good match, my hands are freezing. <laughs> God. What's wrong? That didn't feel good. It was fun. I mean, it, it was a win, but it didn't feel like it. You didn't think it was fun? No. I've just been trying to stall because I know I have to drink that goddamn shake. <laughs> that was been going That's on. That's my issue, yeah. Oh, look, here it is. It's so nice, too. Look how nice it is. Thank you so much. So, we got vegan cookies and cream ice cream in there. Okay. A shot of vegan ranch and a shot of whiskey. What kind of whiskey? That I don't know. Seagram's. Seagram. Ooh, <laughs> Canadian. Only the best. <laughs> Very Chad Daniels. Did you guys go to the plastic bottle store? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I used to... <laughs> Did you try this? <laughs> you can't see, but his arms folded, wide athletic stance, and just... <laughs> How much do I have to drink? Like half of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to try it. <laughs> what, so d describe it. So you know what, okay, I can taste the whiskey. The whiskey actually kind of tastes nice. It kind of masks the fake chocolate. Sure, it's like a boozy However, shake. ranch, since I was a child, has always tasted and smelled like what happens in your mouth right after you vomit. <laughs> it's like that lingering, yeah, yeah, like, that oh, is... that tastes like my food. And then you go back and you're like, oh, that's vomit. It's like that part of it. <laughs> that acidity. Tastes like ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you go to college? <laughs> acidity, Jesus. Oh, 
Did you mix up the ranch or put it in the middle like one of those Dairy Queen? <laughs> it's mixed in there? Okay, because I just got a huge <laughs> shot of it. <sighs> uh, you know what though? I hit that speed slot. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. The speed slot? Mm -mm. No heart. Hold on. <laughs> Let me take a quick drink and then talk to you. Um, where it gets skinnier, oh. there's not as much. And oh, then you get down the here. Speed slot. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's true. I really don't like what happened on the table today, just so you know. That it, it affected our schedule today, because now things have to start later, because yeah. it took too long. Well, why did it take too long? You were given an option. Do you want to talk about the option that was given? No. Okay. I mean. I mean, I, I will if you don't want to. Want me to do it? <laughs> sure. People ask, like, maybe we played a three, because it was taking so long. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you said, all right, let's, that's fine. And then I said, well, you need to explain to everyone that we're going to play to three, but we started at five because you can't beat me that fast. And then you said, five. And then it took, I don't know, 14.6 seconds to get your last three goals? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's what, ti what time is it? Just let me know when I break the record for this game of how long I've held her off. Should we just play to three? I can't believe it's taking me so long to be. It's actually really ruining my day. To be fair, if we played a three, I'm going to need you to say we started at five. And you can't beat me, so we have to go to three. <sighs> We're playing to five. Never mind. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking knew it. Something's happening right now in my, this, in here. Half? One more. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you're good now. That's a little more than half. But can you picture right now you on a lawn chair, cookies and cream, tank top? What are you doing? You know what? Since you let me off the hook with that nudity thing, oh. I'll finish. Oh, you're a good man. That's a good man right there. Mm. I know a lady who my kids call mom <laughs> that might disagree with you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to trash that camp. Now, what would have happened if you came on, I didn't speak to you previously about the uh, nudity, mm. and I said, hey, you have to drink a cookies and cream milkshake made of breast milk off your chest. What would you have done in that moment? Off my chest? Like, they were going to dump it in my tits, and I'm just going <laughs> to spoon it like a bowl of cereal? Yeah. We bought wet wipes, because I was like, he probably has First of all, <laughs> we could have taught kids uh, about glacial shift, because it would have looked like <laughs> this ice cream just moving through a valley. And we were like, and this is how rivers were made. Great. He says the F word, but he also teaches. Uh, would you have had it if I made it with breast milk? Mm hmm that's a yes? Well, I would like to see some like HIV testing and all that <laughs> stuff that goes along with a person that it came from, but I would have. Really? Mm -hmm. God damn it. I wish we would have done that. I feel like I have to do it. Great job. I'm for, for sure going to vomit. I can feel it right here. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I think there was more than a shot of ranch in there. I'd like to talk to the guy with the beard again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's stuck. Awesome. It's like, you know that little trap door that lets food in? Mine absolutely just went, weep, no, nope, road closed. We're going to leave it right here, and then you can just puke that out. Stomach wants no part of this. I can't breathe. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I, this has been the best. Oh, can I have that thing? The, oh, yes, please. Please, God, bring this, bring this out. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is everything I've <laughs> Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. I am soaking wet right now. She <laughs> is for cookie. <laughs> All right. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, God, I love this show. Um, can you plug anything you want to plug? Ah. 
Like where people can find you. Right here? Yeah. Hi. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. You probably see this on there. That Chad Daniels. Uh, also, my website is chaddaniels.com for live dates. And I have a podcast called Middle of Somewhere where you can listen to it and then get all the inside jokes that happened here today, like these cookies and cream tits, yeah. for example. Wow, really going for it. Mm. You can follow me on Instagram at Kelsey Cook Comedy. Uh, Twitter is at Kelsey Cook. You can go to KelseyCook.com for tour dates, and uh, please subscribe to the All Things Comedy channel and watch the rest of the episodes. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. This was really fun. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rissa Fury. Be sure to pick up your official Rissa Fury shirts. They are buttery soft. They feel like dolphin skin. They're lovely. Be sure to like and subscribe to the All Things Comedy channel. And you can get the shirts at the link below. Free shipping.